Hello everyone. At the end of this video, you should be able to describe melting, solidification, boiling, and condensation as processes of energy transfer without a change in temperature. Recall that there are three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. We can change the state of matter by heating or cooling it. We need to supply energy to the substance for melting and boiling to occur. Conversely, we need to remove energy from the substance for freezing and condensation to occur. However, it is very important to note that the temperature of a pure substance does not change, although we are heating or cooling it to change its state. Let me now briefly go through some of the processes that involve a change in state. Melting. When the substance is in its solid state, changes to its liquid state upon heating, this change of state is called melting. The temperature of the substance does not change during melting. This temperature at which the substance melts is called the melting point of the substance. Freezing. The reverse process of melting is called freezing or also known as solidification. In this process, a substance changes from its liquid state to its solid state upon cooling. The temperature of the substance does not change during freezing or solidification. This temperature at which the object freezes or solidifies is called the freezing point of the substance. For example, pure water freezes at 0 degrees Celsius to form ice, while pure ice melts at 0 degrees Celsius to form water. In other words, the freezing point for water is 0 degrees Celsius, while the melting point for ice is also 0 degrees Celsius. In general, the freezing point of a substance is the same as the melting point of the substance. Note that water gives out thermal energy when it freezes or solidifies, while ice takes in thermal energy when it melts. Boiling. When a substance in its liquid state changes to its gaseous state upon heating, this change of state is called boiling. The temperature of the substance does not change during boiling. This temperature at which boiling occurs is called the boiling point of the substance. Condensation. The reverse process of boiling is called condensation. In this process, a substance changes from its gaseous state to its liquid state upon cooling. The temperature of the substance does not change during condensation. This temperature at which condensation occurs is called the condensation point. The boiling point or the condensation point of pure water is at 100 degrees Celsius. Note that the boiling point of water is higher than the melting point of of ice. In general, the boiling point of a substance is higher than the melting point of the substance. Before you move on to the next video, please look at the learning objective again and ask yourself whether you have achieved it. Are you able to explain what is melting point or boiling point of a substance? See you in the next video.